You know, I swear to God, man, I, I always question uh, whether do these dudes even read or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about not, not just the, not the fanboys. You know the fanboys don't read, but, you know, people who subscribe and actually follow that sort of thing, you know, they don't read. But it's all good. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Ryan, the professional here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, shout out to everybody who came by the True Podcast last night. Had a blast talking to everybody. And um, let's go ahead and get into this, man. Oh boy, you already know a certain somebody is going to just take one word out of this article and then try to make a whole video and saying that Sony lost a big exclusive. <laughs> oh Lord, let's go ahead and put it on the screen right now. Sony PlayStation losing killer PS4 feature exclusivity to Xbox One X. Nothing for the Nintendo Switch. What are they talking about? Are they talking about something that we have not seen for? No. What they're talking about is VR. Basically, if you guys did not know, uh, Remember when the Xbox One X was first even brought up before we even got the name and all that? It was called Project Scorpio, and they were hyping up, you know, that this thing could take advantage of, like, Oculus Rift or Vive or something like that. They were saying that it was that powerful, they can handle that thing. Well, uh, it turns out um, they are there. we might see the VR very soon. You know what I'm saying? We might see that very soon. Now, there's no actual release date. We don't know when it will come, but, hey, it's better that we see it now. You know what I'm saying? That way we can check it off the list of things that Microsoft promised. Obviously, we know we're not getting the main thing that they promised, which is 4K60, no compromises. But, nonetheless, they did promise this high-fidelity VR. Yes, am I right? So, you know, if they can deliver the high-fidelity VR. Now, for those of you who might be looking at this and go, oh, my God, so that means they're coming out with the uh, HoloLens? No. Augmented reality is too expensive, even though that's a cool gesture for Microsoft, I'm not gonna lie, that's a cool thing they can do, but a lot of people fail to realize that that whole augmented reality, you know, the HoloLens can be used for something like else aside from gaming, that can be used for everyday lives, like imagine going to your doctors, or anything of that nature, and let's say, you know, you broke your leg, and let's say your doctor's looking at you, she's, you know, she got your name and everything, instead of her walking in with the traditional clipboard, you know what I'm saying, she'll have it all on her screen, you know what I'm saying, her, on, her, her, um, on the glasses, you know what I'm saying, it would say, you broke your leg, your symptoms, you know, uh, medicine that should be prescribed, you know what I'm saying, all that, that would be a cool thing that they can do for everyday life, but other than that, I mean, I don't really see much for augmented reality, you know what I'm saying, I mean, you turning your, uh, table into Minecraft, eh, I mean, it's cool, don't get me wrong, it's cool, but I'm like, eh, I don't know, I don't know about that, you know what I'm saying, I don't know, I don't think, I don't think that would be a big thing, you know what I'm saying, I don't know, who knows though, they, they could, they could throw something, uh, shocking in there, but again, this augmented reality, this is something that's in everyday life, you know what I'm saying, I highly doubt you're gonna be able to turn your, uh, TV stand into a damn battlefield fortress, and like, you know, I don't know, uh, Gears of War or something, you know, I don't think, I don't think you're gonna be able to do that, so, you know, that's just one thing that's just gonna be on the back burner, but hey, it's cool, it's cool, uh, you know, good news, man, it's good news, finally, you know, one of the, uh, many, many promises that we're, we're finally getting one of those, you know what I'm saying, we're finally getting that, we don't know when, but it will come eventually, and, uh, you already know, I'll be the first one to report it, uh, I don't think, uh, anything else, is there, is there anything else I need to talk about, nah, I don't think so. So after this, I'm going to get into the serious topic, which is the whole NPD situation. Yeah, I know. I know. I already covered it, but no, it's just the simplicity behind this, or not simplicity, but the the silliness is the proper word. The silliness behind this whole NPD thing, you know what I'm saying? And people saying it doesn't matter, then one week it does matter, then a week after that. I got to address that, man. We got to talk about that. We got to get that out there, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So for those who claim I don't talk good about Xbox, there you go. There's some good news for Xbox dudes, even though I've reported numerous good news on this channel. You know, people just uh, like to cry about anything. Anyway, if you guys like the video, thumbs it up. If you did not, thumbs it down, like always. Follow me on Twitter. It's up in the left uh, upper left-hand corner. Go follow me on Twitter. Hit me up. Anything you want to talk about. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. I will see you guys later. You guys have a good one. I'm out of here. Deuces.